On July 26 to 27, 2024, the third Sichuan Medical Association Minimally Invasive and Non-Invasive Medicine Academic Conference and the first Academic Conference of the ISMIS Youth Committee 2024 was successfully held. This academic conference series began with the final of the third Haifu Cup International Case Competition for Non-Invasive Focused Ultrasound Treatment. In the final, 22 contestants engaged in intense competition, Dr. Sijit from Indonesia won the second prize and Dr. Pai Boon from Thailand won the third prize. On the evening of the 26th, the Special Committee on Minimally Invasive and Non-Invasive Medicine of Sichuan Medical Association and the Youth Committee of the ISMIV separately held working meetings to discuss the Society's upcoming development and work plans. The academic conference was held grandly on the 27th. In the academic sharing session of the main venue, 22 well-known experts from all over the world delivered lectures focusing on the forefront of minimally invasive and non-invasive medicine, providing insights into leading-edge innovations for the future. The subsession focused on the Advancement Workshop of Ultrasound Ablation Surgery for Treating Benign and Malignant Tumors. Physicians from hospitals nationwide discussed the protection of fertility with focused ultrasound, management of difficult cases, and its application in breast diseases. They shared and discussed fascinating insights on these topics, expressing their opinions and suggestions, sparking new ideas and thoughts. In addition to academic knowledge exchange, the ISMIV's Youth Committee also organized the Health Run on Lotus Island event in the morning, showcasing the vitality of young doctors and their spirit of pushing forward tirelessly aiming to surpass limits and move forward courageously on the journey of medicine. This medical congress not only deepened the exchange and understanding among experts and scholars in the field of minimally invasive and non-invasive medicine worldwide, but also laid a solid foundation for the growth of young physicians. At the same time, it calls for more young doctors to join together to write a brilliant chapter in this field.